Hey everybody, welcome to the Dano channel. I am Dano and I'm back. This time with something new. We're doing some vintage collection. This is the Star Wars vintage collection. It's funny, it says Kenner on the front because they're not a thing anymore. But Hasbro has re-released the vintage collection. It's got the old school style. It's basically black series for 3.75 inch figures. Because I don't think they have, I mean, other than Walmart, there really haven't been any new black, like, black series highly articulated 3.75s come out in the last year or so. Not since, yeah, no. So this is like the new, this is it. It's not even new at this point. It's been out a few months. Uh, so I've got another vintage collection thing here. We've got the Rogue One Imperial Combat Assault Tank. Um, now, I'm not super, super into the vintage collection. They cost a bunch more. Regular figure, like the normal ones, are like seven, eight bucks, like six ninety nine, seven ninety nine, which I think is fine. Got interrupted by a force link. It's official. Um, but this time we're gonna look at Supreme Leader Snoke, and the thing is they're highly articulated, but these things go for like twelve or thirteen bucks. So we're talking almost double the price, like twelve ninety nine, um, or some cases like five bucks more, which is a lot for articulation. In my experience, and the reason that I don't really go for these as much is what I found is with the highly articulated ones, like the Black Series 3.75s, you get all these different ways to put their joints and like to move them. And it's supposed to be like super poseable, right? A lot of times they don't even stand up correctly because how weird and wonky and posed they get, they don't like, they're even harder to work with when it comes to standing them up. So I feel like as much as all the articulation is cool, is it really worth it? I don't know. Let's take a look at the outside of this box real quick before I open it up because this might if this goes terribly i don't know that i'm going to get any more of these because they're, they're a bit more pricey all right we've got our star wars the last jedi logo i like how that looks in the vintage style that's really cool supreme leader snoke he's looking good in the package there i like the artwork kenner real soft goods the cloth robe looking awesome uh this tells you the other ones that are in the line kylo ren jen erso rebel soldier ray jaku supreme leader snoke first order stormtrooper there are a second wave, or there is a second wave that's already out here. Celebrate the legacy of Star Wars, the action and adventure pack space saga from a galaxy far, far away with this collection of premium, highly detailed 3.75 inch scale figures and vehicles, each sold separately, subject to availability, that's for sure. Zero to three sad babies, like the vintage collection. So maybe I will too. Let's see. All right, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to open it. There's no sense in like trying to keep it nice, right? Right? So just tell me. Oh, it's taped. Oh, oh, okay, never mind. I was going to say it's taped and I can save it from getting ruined. Just kidding, I can't. I've already ruined it. I've already ruined the pack. I mean, I didn't ruin it too bad. It's still pretty intact. Either way. Double-priced action figure, huh? Now, the nice part about this is that it is a way to get a hold of Snoke. Prior to this... <gasps> oh, okay. I like what I'm seeing. I was curious to see if... His arms and stuff were sculpted and painted. <gasps> Is his chest... Okay. I'm sold. You got me. I'm sold. Let, you know, I'm going to take him apart. <laughs> it's weird. Oh, boy, you can see his, like, under business. All right. You guys got to see this. You guys got to see this. Okay, so I took his little belt thing off. And this is Supreme Leader Snoke and his under business. He has, like, garments on. You can see his cool little genie shoes. I believe he wears Toms. Little gold Toms. Very nice. But look, they even sculpted like his leg stuff, his arms. All right. Snoke's butt. Everyone wondered what Snoke's butt looks like. There it is. I know I was wondering the whole time. Um, <laughs> he looks, he look, he's really well sculpted. I have to admit, he is really, really well sculpted. I like the fact that I mean, the, even the arms have like little bruising on them. I don't know how close I can get you, but I mean, they're... It's real. It's there. It's yeah. Okay, I'm I'm impressed. I'm impressed with the Snoke figure. Now, one of the things that uh, oh wait oh what did I what did I do what did I do? Uh, <laughs> I I like it. I like it a lot. And one of the reasons I really wanted this one and I jumped on this instead of others is the fact that his knees bend. His knees and ankles bend. You can actually like move his legs. So then allegedly. We should be able to, should, be able to get him to actually sit down in that throne behind me. Because previously, we couldn't do that with the other toy. Because this is this is the other Snoke, and actually we should do a little comparison here in a second. Uh, let, me, let me put his robes back on. I'll redress Snoke for you. 
All right, just so you guys can kind of see the comparison here. You can actually bend legs, whereas the old Snoke, they were just straight. So any type of trying to bend the legs looked like that. So he didn't really sit in the throne very well. He kind of just did this weird, awkward thing. And so now that you can bend the legs, we can actually sit him in the throne. We can change the feet. So let's take a look at that and see what that's all about. All right, so you can see him sitting in that throne. He actually looks pretty normal. I like the shape of his hands. I like the sculpt on his head. He looks good. He's a good looking figure. He looks right in that throne room. Yeah, he's a solid figure. Now, as I was gonna mention earlier, previously the only way to get Snoke was through the giant BB-8 transforming playset until Force Link 2.0 came out with the solo toys and more recently they added a new um, Snoke figure to that line, but it's just this one. It's the same re-release of this guy. I don't know if the sounds are different because I haven't reviewed him yet here on the channel, so I don't know. I don't really watch other people's vids because I don't. I want to keep things for myself. You know, sometimes it's nice to be like, oh, I didn't know all this stuff that happened. But it's neat that we have another version of Snoke, and I'm gonna tell you, I, I'm impressed. I like, I like what I'm seeing here. This is. I'm trying to get his legs to go back to normal. That way he can stand. See again, this is small part of the problem with these highly articulated figures is that sometimes they're more of a pain to get back to normal because they don't quite sit right um but I, I feel like this yeah snoke looks good i just got to learn how to like put this thing on his robes are a little they need to overlap a little bit more and it's kind of hard either way though i'm gonna tell you i i'm impressed i like it i think it's a pretty cool looking figure just everything, the posability, everything about this guy is, he's awesome. And he's way better than the other Snoke. So, here's what I'm thinking. Here's, I'm just, just a new thought. I'm not going to jump on all of them right as they come out. But I think I might have to add the Vintage Collection to the lineup of, does he stand? Mm, I might just eat my words right now. I might take everything back I was just about to say about adding this to the, uh, the lineup of videos and toys I'll review. If he doesn't stand, it's over. Does he stand? Oh no, if he doesn't stand. This is exactly what I'm talking about. This is, oh my goodness. Okay, see? Remember in the beginning? Do you remember what I was talking about? A lot of times they don't even stand up correctly because how weird and wonky and posed they get. They don't like, they're even harder to work with when it comes to standing them up. He won't stand. I've got his feet is like flat. I'm trying to spread out that profile a little bit so he'll balance maybe a little better. And for all of the articulation, for all of the different ways you can pose him, not a one will keep him up. This is, this is, this is why. I, I, okay, so I love the sculpt. I, I love so much about this figure. I just, if the figures don't actually stand up, we got problems. We got major problems. I mean, this guy's as silly as he is. He at least stands up. And I guess in Snoke's case, he doesn't really need to stand up. He just needs to sit in his chair and then maybe get cut in half, which does, oh my God, can I rip this guy in half? I shouldn't do that now. I kind of want to. Uh, I might buy a second one and see if I can rip him in half. <laughs> just because it's ridiculous. Uh, but I do, again, I want to reiterate, I like it. I like it, I like it. I think it's cool. I think it's a good figure. I don't know that it's for everybody. Um, I'm happy that I have this one. And I'm probably gonna pick up a couple more Vintage Collection. That's just my final thoughts on this. I think I'm gonna pick up more Vintage Collection. Snoke sold me. He did it. More for this thing, because I bought this big old hover tank. Either way, guys, I wanna know your thoughts, your opinions, up, down, thumbs, this way, that way, whatever you're thinking. Leave it down in the comments below. I wanna know why. Do you think the fact that he won't stand up, is that gonna drive you nuts like it's gonna drive me nuts? Because I feel ya. Uh, but, if not, if you think he's just cool because you like seeing these hyper-articulated figures, I know there's a lot of you out there who are like, 3.75s are terrible. And, oh my, I did it. He stood. It took a lot of work, but he stood. And I'm going to do this, and he's going to fall. Told you. It's, yeah. So, again, there's, there's pros and cons to these things. The pros are how detailed they are. Cons are that they don't actually stand up because, blah, that's why. 
Either way, if you haven't already done so, hit that subscribe button. Join the Dano Jail family. You know, you know what you gotta do though, to make sure you don't miss any of these other unboxings? You gotta use the force on that little bell. That way you guys get notified whenever I put out a new video. You'll be part of the sad baby squad, the ones who get the notifications, who show up, rate the videos up and down and tell me why. Overall, good members of the community. I appreciate you guys the most. So I wanna put you in the videos. So if you have clips, pictures of your collection, your lightsaber skills, artwork, whatever, send, someone sends me magic tricks, Jake's magic. Has cool magic tricks he sends that I'll put on here sometimes. So you can be anything. As long as you're a part of the squad and you want to send me something, hashtag sad baby squad or at me on Twitter and Instagram at Daniel Flores. And I'll put you guys in the vids whenever I can. Now guys, that's it for now. You know I love you. Until next time, may the force have with you. <laughs> Goodbye forever. Thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate each and every one of you. If you haven't already, subscribe. Join the Sad Baby Squad. Hit me up with your own clips, videos, whatever you guys are into. Fan artwork. I also have shirts and stuff available for sale. Hit those little links down below if you're at all interested. And that's it. Go watch another vid.